I mean, I love the competition. Like, are we sure who we know is going to be the running back for this team? Right? Because I tell you what, when you think about Michael Carter, everybody's talking about how dynamic he's been. Well, we know Tevin Coleman was part of Shake and Bake out there in Atlanta when it was him and, and Devontae Freeman. So he's part of that one-cut system. Ty Johnson and Josh Adams really was averaging six yards, eight yards a carry last year. Can you imagine putting them in this system, what they're able to, 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 to average? And then we drafted LaMichael P. Ryan last year. So it's like, listen, it is competition. When you look at that depth chart right there, somebody, a good football player, isn't going to make the team. And that means still is going to sharpen still. That means if you want to be on this team, you're going to have to earn it. Not just because it's a lack of depth or talent. It's going to be because you beat out a very good football player and you didn't take any days off. You didn't take any days for granted. You paid that rent every single day. These guys are kind of crazy. These guys are kind of out there. These guys are kind of fearless. I think I like it. And I think that's what this team is going to be about. And I think C.J. Mosley coming back, trying to show everybody who he is. I feel like he feels like he owes the Jets fan base a lot. Right, because he's a guy that one showed tremendous promise in the first game, got injured, and then opted out last year for personal reasons. And I feel like he feels like, hey man, let me remind you guys who you signed a couple of years. And listen, it is an alpha male here, and his name is CJ Mosley. And I'm gonna show you how to lead these dogs because he was taught by some of the best in the business. He's top five linebacker in the league, right? He, 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 remember who he is, just because you haven't seen him. Listen, just like we had a guy, and I'm not going to put him in the same level of KD, but people forgot how good Kevin Durant was. And a lot of people in this division, because he was in Baltimore, never got to see how dominant a player he was, how many games he won for that Ravens defense, how he was responsible for a lot of the success with him man in the middle and really taking the torch from Ray Lewis and learning how to become a leader. Like, they, they don't know, right, that they don't know. But I know because I've known the young man for a long time. Right. And all 57 stick together. Players are attracted to energy. Right. Attitude reflect leadership. You know, under the leadership of Robert Sala is going to be about accountability and it's going to be straight gas, no breaks, baby. And if you're going to be like that, then you have to you have to live that. And players are either going to have to adapt to that or they're going to have to be not part of the team. Not that they can't play in the NFL, but they just can't play for the New York Jets. Because we want all gas, no brakes. And what that means is not being reckless. It means giving it your all and being able to be able to adapt to the, you know, adapt to the uh, whatever circumstances that comes and fighting together. Not running for fights. We're running to them.